One's first experience of doing calligraphy of this kind is of it focusing and stilling the being. The moment you cut a reed, the moment you make ink or polish paper, you're, you're approaching this moment when the pen goes to paper and you make a mark. And that's a sort of moment of your life recorded in time. It's very, very significant. When you look at old calligraphy, you're looking at that very moment the calligrapher put pen to paper. Calligraphy is certainly one of the most uh, central kind of expressions of Islamic art. And probably the most obvious reason for this is the centrality of the Qur'an in the Islamic world. The Prophet sallallahu uh, tells us, orders us, orders the, the Muslims to beautify the recitation of, of the Qur'an. And this, of course, is not only limited to oral recitation, it's also applicable to calligraphy. So the calligrapher uh, gives us this link, this permanent link, with this infinite dimension you know, through the Qur'an and also uh, takes care of, of beautifying, of, of, of putting across this word uh, with, with beauty. In 12th century Cordoba, there was an explosion of writing. Everyone was copying books, they were copying texts because everything was being translated at this time and, and Quranic manuscripts and books of knowledge were being copied wholesale. And this was of course long before printing, so if you wanted a book, you had to get it copied by hand. And of course this, was, this had gone on for centuries, because printing was really a very recent thing. That this writing is both beautiful and has meaning is the real treasure, and it's what we've inherited, and why people of this generation can suddenly connect with something which was living here a thousand years ago. And we've just continued the story.